Motion transfer station. Yeah. Three hundred and ninety four thousand nine hundred and two dollars. Seconded by Mr. Clough. All righty. We have regular wages, overtime, telephone. Whoops. Yes, I do. I want to make a point there. <clears throat> uh, it appears on the surface that we uh, believe some part timers for. Uh, other people to make more overtime is that the logic is that a good business practice because if part-timers won't be uh, costing as much for the insurance and so forth as having paying out the overtime and that would be a pretty steep rate probably we two years ago had a part-time person running the transfer station three weekends right. he um, left for other work um, at that point, we um, it was requested that we re-examine the contract, and the contract uh, with the Teamsters reads that we can't do what we were doing. So we went back to the con, sticking with the contract, the Teamsters contract, which is uh, we post for overtime, the Teamster signs up for it, and we pay overtime wages for that position on the weekends. So you think it's a contractual obligation? It is. Okay. That is my question. Okay, further questions. I flagged gasoline and diesel in this account as well. Okay, if you have no further... Uh, no, I do. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Brian, I'm sorry. I just have one quick one. And this has bugged me for years and years. Well, I'm glad Telephone. somebody else... <laughs> Telephone. Telephone. I see it in several areas throughout this budget and I don't understand how we're not controlling and I'm not just looking at this but in several other areas uh, I just don't understand why we're paying this amount of money for a telephone cell phones Chris mostly cell phones yeah. cell phones so they can do we have a package we have a I, group rate. We have like 10, 12 phones at a certain rate yeah. per month. Yeah. Now, would we get cheaper if we did it through the whole town and had that package? I know we've looked at it in the past, but it hasn't been, at least in the last two years, it's just been the status quo, so, so to speak, in the last two years. We had looked at Nextel. We looked at... Uh, because they had a almost like what I call walkie-talkie function, yeah. Yeah. but that was duplicated by the fact that we have radios in, in most of the vehicles. Um, the uh, cell phones are really used when the people are out of the vehicles. For instance, when Toby's on the side of the road doing his crew work, <coughs> Frank the same way. Uh, Mark Richardson at the transfer station has one yeah. um, for basically when he's out in the yard because they're not in a vehicle per se so that's why a number of those people have them do you have one in every truck we have a two-way radio in two -way every vehicle. Radio. and yeah. who is in charge of that well to a company vehicle, outside well we we use uh, a guy by the last name of Adams okay to, I know he is right okay to okay. to do like new installs reinstalls yeah. but the last time we had to have a frequency upgrade because mm -hmm. they changed bandwidths and all that good stuff we took them all to two-way and they literally went through all the vehicles in two days um, so that's what we do for instance when the new trucks come in all three of those yeah. will probably get we took the radios out of the vehicles we traded in mm -hmm. those radios will go into the, the newer vehicles good thing thank you oh. technology technology also drives that I mean at Public yeah. Works we have some analog telephones and some digital telephones and now we can't transfer calls back and forth and yeah that's where um, I guess my confusion comes from is it seems like we're overlapping yeah it's uh, it's just that you know we don't have enough money to just go buy digital tell brand new digital telephones for everybody our phones work fine except for the capacity that you can't transfer calls and some fa call phones you can't get messages on anymore right. um, and another thing we're getting tablets for the asset management yeah that's right um, when we do go with this the asset management software in the coming year and 
related to one of the Warren articles to be gifted $60,000 and install the software. Um, the expense side will be the, the phone, the internet capability for those tablets. To literally, you could assign someone a job without them having to come back, and also they can complete a work order without having to call come back in. So that's and it, it'll help with things like signs and oh, good health falls and things of that nature. Maybe you want to talk to the school too and see how they set up their tablets. <coughs> so if that helps. Yeah, well, we would. Uh, we definitely should. I mean, we're and we are working yeah, with Paul because they're so, they're right. doing great things with them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The school has a different problem. PPW is geographically dispersed. Schools are centralized. Yeah. And their challenge is really the geographical dispersion. They're all over. All right. I'm just saying, just right. in general, just, yeah. you know, in the setup, mm -hmm. because they went through the whole shebang. Yep. This technology isn't mm. necessarily a blessing. Okay. Are you comfortable with the bottom line at 394.902 for the question. transfer station? Yes. Under repairs and maintenance, the budget in 2016 was 14,000, and in 2017 is asking for 49,000. I also realized looking at the actuals is at 30,155 has gone up. Make sure you what talk loud major, enough. What so are the major <laughs> things about those the maintenance jump like that? I'm trying. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm trying to. Yeah, David, trying to make sure that you're right. talking a little louder so the microphone can pick you up. Because it's very frustrating watching the reruns when you can't hear. Okay, page 53. Thank you. I'm trying to remember. Um, Madam Chair, do you have a vote on the transfer station 394902? And the transfer station, I believe it was. Like whoops. Wait a minute. On transportation, I believe that was unanimous. Yeah, no, it's minus one. Well, transfer station. Minus yeah. ten. Transfer station. Tim wasn't here, right? We haven't no, no, wait a minute. called for the vote on the transfer station yet. That's the 394-902. Right no. We haven't voted on it yet. The vote is pending. <laughs> You're getting ahead of us. Thank you for encouraging us. <laughs> yeah. I'm you to and I'm, no, I'm no, ready okay. to step answer step Mr. Marr's question. Okay. What, Chris? Well, yeah. Mr. Marr, um, on the backup in page 53, and I, I'm not sure if you have this or not, um, yeah, they have the our routine maintenance for that facility is somewhere around 21,000. Um, we have an issue with the retaining wall that was installed. Um, yes. Mainly it's part of it, but it's falling apart. We've got an upper <coughs> section that we're presently got a replacement segmental re section of the retaining wall being cast, mm. being made up for us. We're going to open that up and replace it. But we've also noticed that the section of the retaining wall closest to the landfill is actually leaning and starting to tip away from the rest of the, the landfill. So we have a settlement problem. We have structural problem. Um, similar to how we approached like bicentennial seawall. Yeah. We initially asked, in that case, $80,000 did our investigation. In this case, the reason why it went up, we're asking for $28,000. We've talked to a number of geotechs. They, we're going to do some borings. We're going to get some analysis, try and find a solution. The uh, root and that's cause. what we estimate the $28,000 is for. Is we would physically enter into a contract for that specific task. Uh, and that's what it would be used for. Portion of that transfer station was built over wetlands. Yes. And if they weren't totally excavated down to a stable soil when it was built, then that could be part part of the cause of why mm -hmm. we're seeing what we're seeing. They have a major building in California doing that cost about a couple of billion to build. It sunk like 16 inches in a year. Did you hear that in the news? Mm -hmm. That's mind boggling. Yeah. So this is a piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> but it was never built large enough to accommodate what we're doing now. That's what you were leading to later on. We might need a bigger station. I can see the time coming. She's, mm -hmm. Are we, are we all comfortable thank with... You. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We're all warm and fuzzy, man. The subtotal for the transfer station, 394902 in favor. Okay, um, Mr. Pierce and Mr. Marr are saying no. Everyone else said yes. 
Okay. Adam Chan.